that fight politically every single day. Count me in on that one. Reverend Theo Harris. So in 1968, when the Poor People's Campaign was launched by Dr. King and other leaders, they were talking about the tripartite evils, the connection between systemic racism and poverty and militarism and how every war, every bomb dropped in Vietnam, and now we have a lot more wars, was a bomb in unservices to, to the poor of this country. We spend 53 cents of every discretionary dollar on the military and 15 cents on education, healthcare, and uh, anti-poverty programs. So what are you going to do to end this war economy, to, to challenge militarism, and to, to lift the load of poverty? So we need to cut our military budget. You know, this is, and, and there are multiple ways we should be thinking about this. We need a military and a Department of Defense that constantly isn't just saying, our plan is more, more, more. How much more can we absorb? How much more can we get? No, we need to think of our budget in terms of our values. One way we can deal with that budget so we need to stop the endless wars. No great nation fights endless wars. We bring our people home, that is billions of dollars, that we have to spend here at home on our people, on our future. Um, every time we make an expenditure, I go back to this question about budgets, every time we decide we're spending money on this instead of that, we're making a very concrete statement about our values. And for me, this is not about how to help a giant industry. This is not about how to make a department bigger and bigger and bigger. This is not about how to support endless wars. This is about how we build an America that is strong, that is vibrant, and that works not just for those at the top, but works for everyone. Bishop Barber has another question. Senator, thank you so much. The, the states, <clears throat> 